Hello travelers and this is take two here at Disney Saratoga Springs. Me and Michelle are meeting Kevin and Heidi once again to try the Turf Club. After the opening night menu kitchen fiasco we had to come back to see if the Turf Club was as good as we thought it was the very first time we came. So come along and let's see what the Turf Club has to offer us tonight. Here we go, one more time. I have faith in the Turf Cub. They're gonna- Should we just do like and show them yeah. all the first videos? They're stuff? gonna, they're gonna, like they're gonna the come same. through. I have a feeling they're gonna come through. Kitchen has been fixed. Just remind me, did I like the salad? Yes, the salad yeah, was the fantastic. Salad, right? the, the wedge salad. Yes, the wedge good. salad was fantastic. Here we go. Round two. This is round two at the um, beautiful Turf Club located at Disney Saratoga Springs Resort. We have been told I'm all this year. Yeah. Don't get three chances of me. Yeah, this two strikes and you're out. She's on a two strike roll here apparently, but everything in the kitchen has been corrected. All the stoves, fryers, all that are working. So. We get to order off the whole menu tonight. Yeah, that's not what just they said. three and three. So um, I think I'm gonna start right off the bat the French onion soup because I said that could be the, the make or break. Right okay, now, so I'll just dive right in. And I know last time me and Kevin wanted to try the sweet and spicy Brussels sprouts, but we couldn't. But this time we're going to. So I know I'm gonna get those. But the entree entrees might be a little different tonight. So sorry about the graininess. I can already see it in the camera. It's wood grains for some reason. And this phone are terrible. No, you, there's nothing you can do about it. But we're here for round two, so we're going to see how this goes. And to see if Turf Club is still a must-do for me and Michelle you know and the rest of our family. Did you introduce our partners yet? Oh, I'm sorry. Once again, deja vu here. Because we got Kevin and Heidi right over there. Good. They're over there. So I was gonna say dinner with Kevin and Heidi is always a ten out of ten no matter where yeah, we go. That so is they true. Make any true. Right. That is dinner. true. And since I found this reservation, of course I texted Heidi and said, Hey, you wanna go try it again? So they're joining us tonight. So it's gonna be a great time. Poor Kevin, he's having a hard time. He's gotta work. Yeah. Kevin's gotta go to work after to this dinner. dinner. He works he late nights. He works the third shift. So okay. So we're gonna start off with the bread and it comes out to the table, so that's on its way. Michelle got the French onion soup, which is savory beef broth and melted fontina cheese. They said it is back Gruyere. the old way, not yeah. the last way it was, where it was like a deconstructed soup a little bit. It's in the little crock. Now it's regular soup, supposedly. Yeah. So and that will be $11. Kevin went with the golden fried calamari over there on the other side of the table. And it's a classic aioli, Roman, Roman tomato sauce, and pepperoncini, and lemon. And that's $18. And then we decided to get a serving of the Brussels sprouts for the table. And they are sweet and spicy Brussels sprouts. Paquette agave glaze. See, they need the agave. They couldn't make Kevin's agave drink. Uh, Pecan, agave. Anyway. And crispy Vidalia onions for $13. We're also going to go ahead and tell you what we got for our entrees. Kevin went with the slow roasted prime rib tonight. Fingers crossed. Um, actually, um, Doug and his mom Susan came here last night, and they said the prime rib was absolutely fantastic. So we're going to. Kevin's going to be the judge of that tonight. Um, Heidi went with the fried chicken. This time it will be fried and not broiled. <laughs> And that's buttermilk, buttermilk fried herb chicken with mashed potatoes and seasoned vegetables. It looks like a TV dinner. I, I want to say it looks like a TV dinner. Uh, Michelle went with the... What'd you go, Michelle? I didn't know what to get. I just got the strip. Oh, the char-grilled New York strip steak, which we wanted to try. And that is a savory compound butter seasoned... Seasonal French fries and cherry tomatoes for $36. And I went with the Turf Club Burger J. I got the burger tonight. 
Um, it is a signature blend patty, crispy pork belly, New York white cheddar, and onion rings for $22. And we cannot wait to give this a try. Where are we at with the Was it the fantasy? Where did we go to eat where we had the cherry tomatoes on the steak? That was at Palo on the fantasy. That's what I thought. They were absolutely fantastic. Never, that's, that's a dish I will never in my life forget. It was the best tomatoes. They don't yep. tomatoes. Yeah. They were so sweet. I kept asking them, how did you make these? How did you make these? And they, they just put them on the grill. They put them on a grill, open flame grill at Palo. Yeah, they were fantastic. Okay. okay. Ketchup. Right. So with the steak, oh, it was so good. So, okay. Just say cherry tomatoes. I'm sure they will like that. We'll see. we'll see. Don't you see? Love the cherry tomatoes. And I'm sure we're going to get dessert, but we've tried most of the desserts. There's are only a couple left. But the desserts were really good the last time we came. Appetizers have arrived, and we're all going to try these Brussels sprouts that I just put all over the table, as usual. Right there's the Brussels sprouts. These are supposed to be, and yeah, if you want to. They're supposed to be spicy, because you can see some... Um, Red peppers in there. Mm-hmm. And by the way, Kevin's calamari, they have tentacles. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's tahini, which is now. Ready? Ready, yeah. tahini? Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, everybody, again. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Got a nice look. I don't get any heat though. Uh-uh. I didn't get any spice up, did you? It's on the lemon. It's on the lemon. Okay. Uh, There's a nice char. Yeah. It's yeah. the lemon. It gives a little I agree light. with you there. You can tell. Look. See the nice char on the outside of that? These are really good. Yeah. They're really good. Because they're fried. This is what we couldn't get last time. Mm-hmm. I mean, crispy on the outside. The lemon's good though. I'm try a little lemon on my dish. Not overly sweet. No. That's one of the things I like about them. They're not too sweet. They don't got a big maple. No. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, here we go. Michelle's the French onion soup connoisseur here. So we're going to let her try the French onion soup. It is hot. It did come out very hot. Here we go. I feel pressure. Here we go. Give us to the chill. Everybody is patiently waiting your review of the... Oh, she sighed. I think she just sighed. I don't know if it's a good sigh. Not in a good way. It's a sigh of disappointment. It really hard to get that depth of flavor that you want in a French onion soup. It's almost the same that's in a, a beef bourguignon. Mm-hmm. It's that cooked for 20-something hour flavor that I always want in my French onion soup. This is either A, not strong enough in that beef department, or it's not a nice beef. Or maybe there's not beef in it. Maybe it's just onion, but it's water. Okay. I know there's a long explanation to say that it's watery, but it's, I want that, that richness, either from butter or... So you're saying this is actually better than, this is not better than Riverside's. You still like Riverside's French onion soup. Have we been to Riverside yet? I don't think this is beefy onion. This is just onion. We need to go there. Ooh. Yeah. And of course the cheese is the cheese. So you can't, I can't judge French onion on the cheese unless it's for air. But. Here. Yeah, that's more oniony than beefy. I totally understand that. Do you have a spoon? No, we'll have to get, we'll get another spoon. We're going to get some more opinions here at the table. Spoons have been brought to the table. Everybody is going to try the French onion soup. Go ahead, guys. Kevin's over there chowing down on the calamari. Maybe they'll tell me I'm wrong. But, um, you no, know. like if you look at the broth, it's broke down. So it's not been steeped in. Yeah. 
I agree. It's more of a. It's just, uh, it, it, uh, it just needs more depth. depth. Like, more depth. It more needs depth. depth. Yeah. Like, yeah. They need to cook the onions in the ashu instead of just adding it at the end. That's why it's all separated. It's a little Is that it? Yeah, they caramelize the onions and then add it in the beef broth. This is a thorough review of this <laughs> restaurant well, it's tonight. French onion soup is one of my most favorite. Appetite. Yeah, me too. I agree. And I will get it almost everywhere I go yeah. that has it. Right now, Boat Rights is her favorite on property. Replacing Steakhouse 71. So. But Kevin, I'm going to try tentacles. Is that okay? Oh, of course, take like, Please, help yourself. I think for me, as far as a meat entree, tentacle. I always have to think about meat. Right. Has it been? I like their Cajun prime rib. I like the plain prime rib with the Cajun spice on it. Let's just jump a boat and go get some French onion soup. Yes. That'll be next week. Yeah, we'll go next week. we got to do a boat ride review. Yes. They they haven't been with us. Apparently they've been enough with us. Calamari is nice and yeah, that's crunchy and tasty. I do like the calamari. Well, some spots of calamari very hit at the table. Entrees of Rob. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead, start eating. Me and Michelle's here. This is my burger. Here, Shell. Let's go ahead and get a thumbnail. <laughs> Ready? What do you want me to? I think that'll work, right? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Sorry, wait. We'll be right here for you. Just some A1 stuff. There we go. Thank we got A1 stuff. All right, there. I won't play right Ready? Don't use that one because that's terrible. I won't. You never know. Ready? It one. is Big Bird. Yeah, it is. Ready? One, two. Wait, should I do my little steak? There we go. Yeah. There Your little steak. Let's do it. Ready? Well, I didn't mean that. I just meant, like, you know, my little plate. There we go. Ready? All right, one, one, two, three. three. So slow. Okay, we're gonna give these a try. Burger looks fantastic. Uh, Michelle's getting some A1 for her steak. Not sure. I thought the French fries would be a little more upscale, not just two string well, I thought French they would fries. Be like, they said seasoned, but I know. I, don't know. Well, we'll I should try it. First. You got a little salad on there. Yeah. That's nice. It's a French fry. Yeah. Season means salt. I got four onion rings. Right would you like to try an onion ring? <laughs> I don't want to take away from your. <laughs> Oh, those are good onion rings. Sure. Okay. I get, tried to give her a try. Yeah, cut my burger in half so everybody can see the inside of the burger. There it is. I'm going to squeeze it right over my plate. It's not too bad. Look at that. It's got some crispy pork belly on there. Michelle's cutting her steak up. You want to try the steak? So now so we're going to dry our steak. steak. <laughs> they did not have A1. They have ketchup, but I'm not going to put ketchup on my steak first. Bite. There we go. Cheers, honey. There we go. That's it. It's got a good flavor. It's got a charred flavor okay. to it. Six out of ten. I just get the middle, so that was the bites that we had. Yeah, <laughs> we did get, get towards the... the edge of one side. It's a little like grizzly, but that's stuff that's coming through it. The other side's a little well done. It's all right. There we go. Okay. Some... Would you like to try my burger with me? Not really. Okay. I'm gonna try the burger on myself. Okay. Here we go. I'm the first impression not to kill somebody. <laughs> and I agree. There's a lot of quick service places that are a lot better. And just more inventive or more creative. Yeah. That burger is good though. Okay, let me try it because I knew you were going to say that. Okay. He's going to try to offset it. <laughs> yeah, I am. You know that. Go ahead, try that you one. Right the ones that, yeah. That's not fit. Now, yeah. is there an onion ring on the burger? No, or there the is not. Belly? Just a crispy pork belly. Okay. Is there a sauce? You get this. Um, I don't remember seeing the sauce. What, what is that on it? It's a crispy pork belly with tomatoes. Okay. White cheddar. There you, go. you and guys know I'll tell you the truth. White cheddar. <laughs> she just said I won't tell you the truth. That's what she just said. You're a positive person. Yes, you find very. Positive me, and Kev, me and Kevin are the yes. very positive ones at the table. <laughs> okay, what's on it? The crispy pork belly. <sighs> she never listens to me. <laughs> you know it's good. I'm going to have Heidi taste it now. I'm going to have Kevin taste it and Heidi taste it. Here, pick one. I'll I tell you, the what things I do. Welcome to eating with us. Yeah, welcome. I 
think the pork belly is fantastic. That reminds me. Oh gosh. <laughs> when you go to a friend's house and you're cooking out. Yeah, it's got a good grilled taste. Exactly. Right. I don't need to pay twenty two dollars for that. Okay. It is a good burger. It is a good burger. Good we burger. are going to continue eating our <laughs> he's mad. dinner. I can tell I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It's all right. <laughs> I like the honesty of everybody at the table. That's like we've always said. It's not always what we like. You guys could come here and absolutely love it. Right. Doug and them loved it. So I swear, having dinner with Michelle and Heidi is like an experience that everyone should. We should have a supper club. We should. Every month we should do, have like eight. about that. You know like they used to do with Tables of Wonderland? Right. Can we start our own? Like They don't get discounts, but we can do it all together. Yeah. Would you guys like us to do like a supper club at the end of the month? You can have like eight people, ten people. I, I don't would do know. that. We do want to do the um, the Central Coast table I keep talking about. We want to do the Chef's table at Victorian Alberts. That's on the list. No, we just can't do that till the very end. Yeah. You have to pay your own way. Yeah, yeah this is everything is Dutch, right by now. the way. <laughs> we always go Dutch. <laughs> Okay, we decided on we some dessert. And you know, you guys don't be shy to ask us to go. We, we don't ask you to pay our way. Yeah. We pay our own way. We just like to meet you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Michelle said she's going to go on an oatmeal diet so she can cleanse you know, her so palate. Because I, <laughs> I, I feel bad sometimes. Like, I don't want to... The service was great. I don't want to. I don't want anything that I say to reflect on the service or the place or the people that work here. Okay, we're it's not going to give you our opinions food. yet of this. It's just based on food. I already gave them. We food. we are going to order desserts. I have learned to take a picture, give it a kiss, and move on. So I think that's what I'm doing. Okay, we got Would you this. Like to see the best. We need to come out with like a best <laughs> video, like. Then I could be positive. Oh I'll just talk about the restaurants I really, really like. That might be hard to come by. It isn't. No? I have a, yeah, I have a best Okay, list. okay. What's your, okay, just give us like the third best. Like one. What's your best, best restaurant, let's say for breakfast, best breakfast. If you were coming here and you just, the president was coming and you wanted them to Topolino's breakfast. Okay. Topolino's breakfast? It's so sour. It's so sour cream waffles. It is. Even though so I love good. Chef Mickey's, the I better food is at yes Topolino's. Before they did the change up on the to where you can't meat. get all the um, yeah. oh, entrees. I've been trying to entree. What's yours? Mine. Favorite for, breakfast. For breakfast. Character breakfast. Chef Mickey's hands down. I didn't down. say character. I just said breakfast. Oh, uh, Boma. Boma oh, buffet. Boma. 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 See, everybody forgets about that one. It's a sleeper. I dream about Boma. <laughs> so good. She doesn't dream about me, but she dreams about Boma. I dream about you at Boma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about lunch? Like your favorite lunch spot? And that could be anything. Quick service restaurant. I'm going to have to say the Spyglass Grill hamburger is that fantastic. Was that fantastic. Was up there. Fantastic. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She asked these questions that I may have an answer. Do you know my favorite, but I haven't been there in a while? Yeah. But what I would say is um, T Rex sitting at the bar. They have the bruschetta. That's and the from Lemon. T Rex. Isn't it? That's a fine dining example. No, I, I said it. Yeah, anything. it's sitting at the bar. Sitting oh, at the I have to say. They're they, French onion soup and the they bruschetta. Have some good French onion but I don't soup. know if they still do the, the two. The bruschetta. I'd have to check, but yeah. that's where I was sent to okay. the quick service. Okay, I would say Hollywood Brown Derby, get the cab salad and the martini plate. Ooh, there you that's go. different. Uh, we got Heidi, a drinker. <laughs> Heidi is bougie. She's bougie. What about dinner? Dinner is still flying fish to me. And just to let everybody know, if you ever went to um, California Grill, um, Michael, that the proprietor was there, he has now moved to Flying Fish. So it's still one of my, it's my favorite signature uh, restaurant on property. As they have a conversation. Sorry, I forgot about Columbia. If we could go off property. Off property, Columbia would be my lunch. Yeah. All right, so back to dinner. My most memorable dinner, no lie, was Artist Point. The um, character. The, the character. No lie. They had every single entree dish that we tried that night, and the waitress was let us fantastic. Try it. Yeah. Every single one was the gnocchi. The prime. You could have not made it there yet. We've okay. talked about we'll it. We'll have to try really that. Good. And we don't go back for some reason. We don't. Well, we're trying to get everything. Right. Yeah. Know, yeah, I think I'm all. This Disney dining course is killing. Because they changed all the menus, so now i got to go back and try everything. 
food-wise, everything I had there was just okay. outstanding. How about you, Heidi, for dinner? Kevin doesn't get the vote. He had to no, step outside. He's on his own. Um, we'll vote for Kevin. <laughs> right. I do like flying fish in the boathouse. We've had really good meals at both of those. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm always scared I'm going to forget a place when I say I know, me too. I would stick to most. Okay, so we have given you our like right favorites. Like, so right. down in the comments. Like, I know, I'm going to get home and be like, oh, I know. In the com- okay, so in the, comments, in the comments, in the comments, yeah. Heidi's going to leave her favorites. You guys leave your favorites. We might even go visit there. That might be fun. So um, thank you once again for traveling along with us and being part of our traveling family. And also, Do you know don't forget. you over 400 restaurants and quick services. I have a little spreadsheet now. I can put it on Facebook if people want to see it. Y'all want to see the spreadsheet? So you can see all the restaurants that you got to hit? I think there's 425 to be exact. 440 something. I think 425. That's how we're So if you're part of our Facebook group, and if you're not, go ahead and go over to Facebook and join our Facebook group. And um, we're just waiting for dessert. Heidi went with a, um, a bougie dessert. Um, it's a chocolate martini. No, espresso martini. Espresso martini. There we go. I know. See, I know I should have got the pork chop. I should have got the scallops with the pasta. God, we just... I'm not coming back. I'm no, it, no. We'll talk to you in a year. Yeah, in a we'll year, we'll come back. We'll come back in a year. Um, I got the salted caramel creme brulee. Kevin and that is eleven dollars. And Kevin went with the chocolate cake again because yeah, it was cake good. Last time. The, the was cheesecake good. was good. The chocolate cake was good. Their desserts are fantastic here. I'll have to give them. Except I still like the other one better. The ricotta ice cream with the strawberries. Yeah, yeah that was still better. So. I think the name of that one turned a lot of people off. It was Might the have basil. Been. Yeah, basil. basil ricotta. That's what got to everybody. Oh, was it, it was a color. Yeah. It was the name of yeah. even I had said, ew, when yeah. he first was telling us. And he was like, no, no, you have to try it. He almost made us with the strawberries. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was good. It was so, fantastic. what's your favorite dessert on property? Okay, we're gonna, uh, we could be here all night doing all favorites. Dessert. Favorite dessert? Oh, that's well, tough. You're at Sweet Sky. I can't do that. I'd have to think about that. Hold on one second. Let me think about that. That's what I'm going to say. The debate, the debate continues. Go ahead, Michelle. What's your favorite dessert? About the, what is the one called at Epcot? The waffle with the, the liege liege waffle, waffle with connection. That's what I said with the French strawberry. That's yeah. But then also the Nutella fruit waffle at Sleepy Hollow. Is yeah. It? yeah. In the Magic Kingdom. That's good any time of day. How about yours? Yeah. What's, Heidi, what's Heidi's favorite? That, that waffle was good any time of day. Yeah, okay. Now that they serve it, it all day. I used to be. I used to was in love there for a little bit with the uh, milkshake, the Marceline Sign yeah. at Plaza. That was good. Oh, that was so, and I hate beer. It was so good. It was. That was a good. That was a good. That was, was a good like, milkshake. What um, mine would be the Kake Gori at Japan, the oh, flavored so ice. The I could eat. Oh yeah. That's what I could eat that all day, every day. Oh no! Okay. The, uh, comes Heidi's, the Heidi's cookie gonna... sandwich at Caramel Gouche. The, oh, the, the caramel. Okay. Yeah, the caramel okay. cookie with the. So so far, cream. that's what we like. But I'm sure you're going to be joining us on more travels to see what else we can eat. So we're just waiting for our desserts. Well, Michelle got coffee tonight. She never gets coffee. Have, right, okay, Kevin's back. Actually, we're gonna. Kevin's we're gonna. Back. Kevin, oh, he gets to be on camera. There you go. There's Heidi. There's, well, there's people behind you, Heidi. So the, the question was favorite breakfast on property. My favorite breakfast on property would be Chef Mickey's. Oh, so see, this is, this is coming. This is why great minds think alike. Okay. Great minds think alike. Awesome. This is why they get along. Right, what yeah. about lunch? Lunch. Uh, lunch is really it could hard. Could be to anywhere. Say. Restaurant, uh, quick service. I would have to say snacking around Disney Springs. Okay. I'll give you that one. That's politically correct there. <laughs> Just no place in particular. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Dinner? Dinner? Oh, uh, boy, dinner. President Calibre. The yeah, you, you can go ahead and say oh, flying fish. fish. You can uh, say yeah, flying somebody fish. Somebody you really, really loved. Just go ahead and say flying fish. <laughs> flying fish. And you, you did not put that in my mind, <laughs> uh, but flying fish. I've been there twice, and, and uh, the first one was a little iffy, but that was literally three days before they closed. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's right. They were here right before 
right the closure. The closure. Yeah, and closed. then we got with them right after the reopening. Yeah, and it was a thousand times better. Yeah, that was a good And it was two completely different restaurants. I think before the refurbishment, everyone had just given up. Yeah. No. Yeah. They actually somebody gifted us. I'll have to go back down and look. But um, so that's the Kevin's answer. They gifted us the seasoning on the that they use on their steaks. Yeah. The charred steak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was fantastic. So we definitely need to get back to flying fish. Maybe we should do a supper club at flying fish. That'd be a great idea. We're about Anybody else here. like to join us at flying fish? We got a party of four so far. Just we'll leave it in the comments down below. We'll let you know. Get together. I have some connections at flying fish. No, I really don't. Oh, right, here comes the desserts. I'm just going to show you straight up right here. Okay. There's Kevin's chocolate cake right there. And there's the caramel creme brulee right there for me and Michelle. Heidi's martini Espresso right martini. Espresso martini. The only way to go. Yeah, I guess so. Apparently that is. Two cups of coffee at the table. Probably won't be enough cream. There we go. And we're going to have our lunch. We're going to get prepared here, and we'll be right back. Dessert. A dessert. I know. I was waiting. Okay, for Michelle's you fixing her cup of coffee. This is the creme brulee right here. Right there. I'm envious of her cup of coffee because I love coffee. You guys know that if you watched our um, Facebook page. Because you know I Would you would you like some creme brulee? I mean, he was teasing me because I was talking about roasting coffee. <laughs> would you like some creme brulee? Yes. Okay. There. I'm gonna go ahead and have her without her. Okay. Go ahead. Cheers. Cheers, honey. There. Now I get her to do cheers. I think, I think. Something, something's a muck. <laughs> There's nothing a muck. That is I fantastic. I know it's a muck. <laughs> me and Kevin will be at the uh, meetup um, at the dinner party. Wait, let me see. If I don't know if these two are making it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with there this. There is. My martini is fabulous. It's more like a... Um, well, there's um, salt on it. There's something about the cream. See? Is, is it pudding? Is she, it does, pudding? she does not listen to me. It's a salted caramel. Salt on top. Salted caramel. What is it? There's some, it's like vanilla pudding. What is it? <laughs> it's something on the top. Is it fake cream? Oh wait, I forgot I miss the dessert menu. Oh here, you. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. I gotta read it off here. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you. What's wrong with it? What is it? There's nothing wrong with it. It's salted caramel creme brulee, caramel mocha biscotti, and malted sea salt. Yeah, that's the sea salt we have. Here. I know the salt. It's the crystal salt. Here, this is this is where you don't get it anymore. Is it You're done. butter? There's You're something done. about the cream. What is it? What's, what's it made with? You're done. I'm going to try a raspberry. I'm going to try a raspberry. It smells like a raspberry. Okay. So let's wrap this up. Do you want to try some chocolate cake? In synopsis. <laughs> I tried it last time. The turf no, course, club right is not what it used to be for us. Um, we do prefer the Seeing menu the before. Seeing the cake be old gray mare is not what she used to be. Oh uh, yeah, that's is a that good one. Is? Yeah, that's a good one. Sorry. You um, it was good. The food was good. Some people are going to here, come here and love it. There was dishes that we've seen that we should have maybe ordered and didn't. Like the scallops and the... Um, I do think the pork chop. Dish. The pork chop. But I think we're going to wait a little bit before we come back and give it another try because there's so many other places out there we're going to try but if you're coming for dessert don't listen to them about the creme brulee it's absolutely fantastic chocolate cake's good too this could end our youtube career right here this channel right this no <laughs> no you're right yes you're right you're right i agree with you 
because there's a lot of places to eat and your money can only go so far and we understand that so that's why we do these so you can see our experience you guys can make your own decisions and your own opinions going forward so um, we want you to be prepared so when you come and you have your dinner let us know what you think just discussion that's all yep that's exactly what we're doing so travelers like we always say until next time travel and adventures is out there